Hey guys, it's Melissa. Happy Wednesday. We are doing something a little different today. I don't typically go uh, live. Uh, actually, hey guys, it's Melissa. Happy Wednesday. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I can't tell when I'm live or when I'm not. Uh, we are doing something a little bit different today where I am going to do an in-studio um, tutorial. So what we are going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to set up a multicolor vinyl design and layer it in Silhouette Studio. So the second part of this, we will not be able to do the actual cutting part and the actual assembly, but I've done many uh, Facebook Lives and tutorials on that part of it, and I actually linked to one so you can see the second part of it um, from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over. You are, I'm going to go away for a second. You're going to see my Silhouette Studio, and we will talk about how you set up a multicolor design design and silhouette studio to use oh there's bob hi bob um how to use, he's bringing me coffee thank you um how to set that up in still silhouette studio i get a lot of questions about okay so that's great that you have all of these multiple colors uh cut but how did you get those um designs cut with the little squares and everything like that okay so i'm going to switch over to silhouette studio here and you will see that um, and what we have is obviously just um, I didn't even bring my design in yet so the design that I'm gonna bring in um, I downloaded from so fancy it is part of the coffee till wine bundle anybody else say coffee till wine type of person uh, just me okay all right so what we are going to do because I have designer edition I am able to use the SVG if you don't have designer edition you can use um, the PNG or DXF uh, to bring in. So I have it here. I'm just literally going to drag and drop this SVG. And what I have now um, is this design in Silhouette Studio. Now I can cut on these colors, these two browns, greens, and whites, um, if I want, or I can change the color. What you see in Silhouette Studio, it doesn't really matter what it's going, what colors you end up cutting on. Typically, I like to change the color of my designs. Um, in studio to match the color of the vinyl that I'm going to cut on just for my own mind's eye um, So let's just change this to something a little, you know, brighter. I don't know. Let's uh, not pink maybe but uh, I don't know this let's just I like this to be a little more appealing I think and uh, I like a lot of cream in my coffee So we'll do that and then I'm just going to change this. Okay. I don't know it doesn't really matter because we're not actually going to cut it. But anyway, okay, so what we have here is our design. Um, I'm actually going to open up the page setup panel. Now, you can, if you like these block, the grid behind, you can keep it. I don't typically like, like it, so I usually um, adjust the transparency to get rid of them. You can adjust that to your liking. Okay, all right, so now, how are we going to cut this all on separate pieces of vinyl and then... Uh, layer it back together so the circles perfectly aligned this blue piece is perfect how are we going to do that what we are going to do is use registration marks not registration marks like we would for print and cut those are only for print and cut these are a different type of registration marks these are registration marks that you are going to use by using the draw a rectangle tool on the left sidebar so if you click that and then you just draw out a rectangle um, and you can duplicate it however you want. You can either draw another one, you can you know, copy paste, you can right click copy, there's multiple ways to duplicate. Um, so however you're gonna do that, you're going to, whoops, I'm going to copy paste. And now what you have are, what you've created are registration marks. Now, um, I highly, highly suggest that your design be filled with color and that you fill your registration marks with color and you, this is important that you fill the registration marks with a different color than any color in the design so for it doesn't matter what color I'm just gonna pick green um, so that you can see it now you have two options here okay you can separate this design um, and you know have all the pieces separate and cut them all separate or you can cut by color I'm gonna show you both options and just please realize that you're only taking one of these options also please realize if you're commenting my entire screen is taken up from silhouette studio so I can't see comments right now um, so option number one okay I'm gonna make I'm gonna put this over here so you know option number one okay because we have two options first option is I'm going to select my entire design and I'm going to duplicate it. 
as many, I'm going to duplicate it as many times as the various colors that I have. So in this example, I'm going to make these a little bit smaller so we can fit all on our workspace. So in this example, I need to, I need four different copies of my design because we have one, two, three, four. Okay. Now, I'm going to separate these a little bit so we can make sure that the registration marks don't get confused. Now, this is important. Once you do this, the registration marks need to stay in the exact same position on all copies of your design. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to go through each portion of the design and delete different areas. So in, so in this part, we're going to delete all, everything except that white cap. In this section, we're going to delete everything except the two brown pieces. Okay. Again, important that you keep those registration marks exactly where they are. In this section, we are going to delete everything except the blue piece. And in this section, we're going to delete everything except the pink circle. So what you have now, and I'm going to group these together, what you have now is your entire design Um, what you have is your entire design all in, uh, split up, okay? If we were to put these all together, and we can do that by, by uh, doing this, what you have, oops, it didn't work because, here, let's do it like this. You have your entire design set up now, okay? But in four different layers. So what you could do is put a white piece of vinyl, in this section of your cutting mat and it would cut both the lid and the registration marks now of course the registration marks are not going to cut green they are going to cut the same color as your piece of vinyl so what you and and uh, you know you would put your pink piece of vinyl up here you would put your brown piece up here you would cut your blue piece so the registration marks would be cut with every layer and then you are going to line up those registration marks after your design is cut and weeded, and that is how you're gonna assemble your design. Now, how do you do that? I have an entire tutorial on how to do that. I have many of them actually, and I linked to that so you can see it. Okay, now we have another option. I'm gonna bring our design back in so that we can start over. So just remember, this is option number one. Option number two is, again, they both require registration marks. However, this option, this option um, is not going to split up the design. It is going to keep the entire design here. So let's again make our registration marks, okay? This option ensures that the registration marks stay in exact relative position for every layer. Again, I'm gonna fill those registration marks with color so you're seeing what you're seeing here is the start is this, it starts the exact same way for both. Now, in this in this option, what you're going to do is go to the send panel, and in the send panel, instead of staying in the simple mode, you're going to go to the fill panel. And what that does is it you can see you have every single color that's represented in your design now has a color swatch. Okay, and so what you're going to do is turn on and off the cut lines for the various layers as you cut. The registration mark color, which is why it's important that that color was totally different than any other um, color in your design, that layer is always going to stay on. Now, I would need to change all of these to vinyl, um, but just, just ignore the fact that it says sticker paper and pretend it says vinyl. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just not going to spend the time going through and changing them. So let's say we first want to cut this um, white part. What we would do is we would uncheck all of these colors that are not the registration marks and not the white. So all we have left is a cut line around this white portion and the registration marks. We would put a piece of white uh, vinyl in our cutting machine or on the cutting mat and we would cut. When that is done, we would reload the cutting machine and now we would come back to this panel and we would switch. Now we want to cut the green circle. So now, again, you keep those the pink layer on, so they cut, and you keep the green circle. And so what you'll end up with is a green sheet of vinyl with a circle and two registration marks. You do that for every layer, all four layers. 
Okay, and you can see that in this situation, now you're not risking those registration marks moving like you would with option one. But that's the way that you are going to do it. And that is how, um, if you want to set up Silhouette Studio, if you want to set up a layered design in Silhouette Studio that has multiple colors, that is, there are two options for how you can not only set it up, but how you can cut. It's really up to you um, and your preference, but that those are the ways to do that now the second part of that again I can't reiterate that I can't do it right here because we're not going to cut and do all that but I typically don't do silhouette studio tutorials on sil on Facebook live it's very challenging to do that I will say that if you like silhouette um, studio tutorials I would recommend you know considering checking out silhouette you because we have hundreds of tutorials a lot of them are silhouette studio based um, and every month we have a we give away a free or not a giveaway but we show a free video to non-members you can check it out there's one on there now the website is silhouetteu.com play on silhouette school silhouetteu the letter um, and you can check that out and um, we add new videos every month we there are lots of benefits besides the videos but if you're interested in silhouette studio specifically videos um, then you might want to check out silhouette you because on silhouette school Facebook page I mostly do um, the tutorial the out of silhouette studio project and I get a lot of questions okay well how did you get to this point well this is how we got to this point today I was able to show you but typically we don't because it's a lot more challenging to do that okay all right you guys I will go through and answer any questions and comments that you had and uh, we will wish you a very good day and happy layering if you're layering and you had success I want to see your um, photos post them on the silhouette school Facebook page you can put them in the comments here you can share them on the Saturday share post uh, but we want to see what you're doing I hope you guys have a great day I'll see ya